the year is 2007 and you're playing the Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare campaign and your M4A1 has the special operations peculiar modification. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the M4A1 Salt Mod Secret Weapons in Modern Warfare 2. One. Actually, the lead. no, I don't know how to use this thing, chat. Sorry, I have no idea how to use this. This uh, rocket launcher thingy, a grenade launcher. Thank you, UAV. Just going for long shots or whatever. Oh, give me that. All right. Ah, oh, this game. <laughs> is, is four is four players enough? Grenade! Oh, woo! Good lord! Yeah, bring them all. Oh, baby. I mean, without having to go for long shots. Oh, holy shit. Hey, count it. Count it. I'm reloading. No mounting needed. Enemy. Oh, good shot. Relax. Hang on, hang on. I'm coming. Oh. Target dismissed. I'm scared of you, brother. I just wanted to heal up. Let's go. All right. Friendly care package inbound. Hang on. Friendly UAV on station. Nope. Oh, come on. Yep, yep. Oh, man. They flanked me. Wow. I thought they were going to just stay back there. Got one. Got him on the run. Keep it up. Well, it's a reliable weapon, I'll tell you that. The soap mod. All right, hey, what's going on, guys? How do you do? It's your boy Gray here, and welcome back to the channel. You guys can see right here on the screen, we got another installment here for the secret weapons in Modern Warfare 2. You're looking at the M4A1 soap mod from Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare campaign. And once again, just to establish this, if this is your first time watching one of these secret builds in Modern Warfare, this is not necessarily a best class setup, although this class setup slaps out in multiplayer. This is more just secret builds, secret weapons that you can make through the gunsmith in Modern Warfare 2. ARL weapons, you know, weapons from previous Call of Duty titles. Let me know in the comment section if you guys remember using the M4A1 Salt mod in the Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare campaign. Go back and play the campaign i believe you used the m4a1 salt mod in the mission titled blackout and safe house i think that was another one and uh ultimatum i think as well so the salt mod is a term that's used for a specific set of attachments primarily on the m4a1 now you can mix and match whatever attachments honestly but primarily it's more known for the red dot typically a silencer uh, a laser and the one that's like really abundant there is the uh, the grenade launcher. 
the first thing that you guys should know is obviously we're using the m4 we're going to be working with the m4 gunsmith all right so here is the bill ladies and gentlemen starting things off with the muzzle you're rocking that echoless 80 and if you're interested in the specific tuning i will show you that as well so on the muzzle uh i did the weight positive 0 0.27 and for the length i did a positive 0 0.35 the barrel we were rocking that 11.5 inch th4 barrel and for the tuning all i did was i maxed out the damage range for the laser we're rocking that fss ole v laser for the optic this is typically user preference but if you really want to build out the soap mod m4a1 typically you got to go with a reflex so I'm recommending the Slimline Pro, but I guess like either one of these would be all right, whatever you feel most comfortable using. And for the tuning on this, I, I maxed out the aim down sight speed, and I also maxed out the distance eye position. I just made it all the way far. And finally here, ladies and gentlemen, we're rocking that SPW 40 millimeter under barrel. This is the grenade launcher. Surprisingly, a really good build for the M4. Like I was really frying with the setup out there. Uh, really accurate, good damage. I mean, good recoil control. It's, it's just a really good, really good setup. I guess the most tricky thing is getting kills with the grenade launcher. I had never used it before. Difficult to understand the trajectory of the uh, grenade launcher and like where the, where it was going to go and you know, stuff like that whether or not it was it was going to explode on impact or if it was going to roll you know Anyways, man we got a lot more of these secret builds i got a lot more coming up on the way man i hope you guys have been enjoying this series more coming up soon thank you for watching let's get into a little more gameplay here Oh my god. Oh. Guy below. As you're freaking me out. You're freaking me out. There's too much happening here. Hearing too much. It's too much. Slow down. <laughs> so many, so many noise, so many noise, so many footsteps that just don't align, bro. UAV standing by. Friendly UAV online. What? Present. Take that, I guess. We'll take that one, I guess, chat, huh? Watch out, teammate. Man, we were streaking there too. I don't know why I did it. Oh. Here we go. Yeah, nah, this M4 is really good, man. It's a really, really solid M4 class setup, man. Don't do that. Don't do that, dude. Don't do that. Our UAV is in the area. Switching max. Oh, we got one. Enemy down. Oh, explode. Wow. You are teasing me, bro. Don't tease me like that, man. <laughs> you freaking tease. Good job, teammate. Look at this guy. Look at this guy now. Oh, boy. Good God, man. These people. I'm reloading. All right. Let's go. Eyes up. Let's move on. I want to... Got him! Did not think I was gonna get him there. I'm not even gonna lie to you. Dude, this this freaking this soap mod is fun, man. What? This thing is really good, bro. Oh, that's me. That's me. That's me. That's me. That was me. He got me. Good kill. Good kill, man. He stuck. He stuck with that. 
I kind of gave up on the shot a little bit. Hit fire. Oh my god. Jesus. Mission accomplished. Lack of job. Oh, almost back to back 30s here, folks. Let's go. 29. Yo, this M4 M4A1 conversion to the salt mod from Call of Duty 4. It's a slapper. All right, ladies and gentlemen, thank y'all so much for watching today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed the gameplay and the information and this secret build here in Modern Warfare 2. You can now save these class setups. Like I have this saved as the M4A1 soap mod in my uh, in my cre create a class. So you can now do that if you guys want. Let me know what you think in the comment section below, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. We got a lot more of these secret weapons in Modern Warfare 2. I already have ideas and I already have setups saved uh, for future videos. So be on the lookout, okay? More, more on the way. If you guys are brand new around here, if you haven't done so already, do me a favor, you guys, subscribe to the channel, turn on notifications, and drop a like on today's video. I'd really appreciate that. Any feedback, please let me know in the comment section below. If you guys are ever interested in any Control Freak products, you can check out their website, link in the description. You can use code GRAY to get 10% off any of your purchase over on Control Freak's website. If you're ever interested in getting a new controller, uh, I highly recommend checking out AIM controllers for PlayStation 4, PS5. Uh, Xbox, PC, whatever it may be. Currently for the month of December, you can use code GRAY to get $90 off, $249 or more. But if you guys are looking to buy literally anything from AIM Controller's website, doesn't matter what the price is, uh, I just ask to use the referral link in the description. So that's my referral link and I'll get a referral for that. So uh, thank you so much, everybody, for the continued love and support there. Um, give us a follow outside of YouTube on our social media platforms, TikTok, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, as well also over on our Twitch channel, we typically stream on Twitch Monday through Friday. By the way, we're really close to 4,000 followers over on Twitch. If you guys want to head over there and give us a follow, I'd really appreciate that, all right? I'm going to call it there for today's video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. More content coming soon. Till the next one, my name is Gray. Peace.